Hi. Yes, it's time for everyone's favourite impractical project, U-Beam. I won't cover what U-Beam is again. I'll link in uh, here and at the end of the video and down below if you want to see my uh, debunking of U-Beam. Anyway, uh, just to suffice it to say, you've got to remember that they've been working on this for five years now. They've had $30 million invested in this boondoggle and they've had the best PhD acoustic uh, researchers in the world working for them. Well, they used to because they're, I think they're all gone now because they realized how impractical it was and they're, they're still going. They just will not fold. So they either have new money or they've still clean onto the old money that they've got. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Five years, 30 million bucks invested. The best people have worked on it and they've said multiple times that they're close to production. So remember that. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, remember all the wank wank safety. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, look at this sitting at the coffee table. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is let's go up to the careers section because they have a new job opening. Um, well, they, they actually have a couple open positions down in here. The acoustic lead scientist, because presumably they don't have one left, um, <laughs> <laughs> that was on uh, the uh, bloody American dates are back to front, aren't they? So that was May. They were looking for someone back in May. And then uh, August, they were looking for a hardware software lead design engineer. And just the other day, they're looking for a principal system architect of engineering. So they've got three open positions. Everyone's obviously scrambling to work for U-Beam. I love this. Look at this. With U-Beam's technology, there's a very fine line between excruciatingly difficult and impossible. U-Beam falls into the camp of excruciatingly difficult. No, it falls into the camp of impractical boondoggle. So let's go and have a look at the principal system architect position that they've got uh, freshly opened here just a couple of days ago. U-Beam is seeking a hands-on... Oh, can you read that? You may not be able to read that when it's highlighted. U-Beam is seeking a hands-on, eager and experienced candidate with a proven, proven track record with a physics or EE background to perform engineering tasks related to system design, system integration and system level specifications to include end-to-end -end system architecture. This will involve modeling full systems, including acoustic and electrical simulation to trade off and optimize design characteristics to achieve the overall system goal. Five years, $30 million, best people in the business. They've said they're close to production many times and they're still looking for someone to develop system level specifications, end-to-end -end architectures. They haven't done this. Is the principal system architect is the key person to set system level technical strategy across the enterprise as well as and create system level block diagrams? You don't have that after five years, or is it just radically changed because you realize it doesn't work anymore and you've got to start again and try and uh, are they going to pivot? I don't. <laughs> Who knows? Um, that's the only way the company's going to survive is if they pivot into some niche technical field. Work constructively with lead engineers in the acoustic and hardware software teams, blah, blah, if they've got any left. Uh, and they, they might. I'm sure they got, you know, a small team working for them. I've heard it's quite small. <laughs> uh, set guidelines to which, like, guidelines to conform, blah, blah, blah. Uh, own the success, blah, blah, blah. Must have the ability to balance more than one project at a time. You've got more than one project. Maybe they are pivoting. Hmm. And or project layer must be highly experienced. Project management, people management, blah, blah, blah. Work closely with senior vice president, acoustics manager, uh, manager of the hardware software team and overall team to plan, communicate, get and gain buy-in of the project uh, product requirements like cost, project cost, development timeline, specs with marketing and the product team. Five years. $30 million close to production and you're still trying to get buy-in on cost and, and timeline and specifications? Unbelievable. <laughs> Responsible for keeping the system level document over, representing current agendas, blah, blah, blah. 
ensure interfaces, board to board, hardware, firmware, work together, properly owned system interconnection, budgets, the therm power, thermal cost, features, performance, trade offs. They're still talking about this sort of stuff. They're nowhere near production, of course, because like they're not going to have a practical product, right? It's just never going to be practical for what they intended to, which is mobile phone and other little gadget and TV wireless charging and all the other crap they sprout on about. Uh, Trade-off discussions regarding partitioning of hardware, software, incorporating FPGA, discrete components, DSP. This is like early, like six months startup into it kind of stuff. Like you don't ask for this sort of person doing this sort of stuff after five years and 30 million bucks and publicly saying you're close to production. It's ridiculous. Uh, like risk identification, assessment, mitigation, insure, insures, insures with an I. Now, I'm an engineer and I can't spell to save my life, but I'm pretty sure it's an E, not an I. Hmm. Anyway, participate in product line planning, senior vice president, blah, 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 bachelors from accredited university, blah, blah, minimum of five years engineering and science work, minimum of five years as a project lead, demonstrated ability, blah, blah, blah. Gee, yeah. Uh. That's unbelievable. Startup experience, desire but not... <laughs> Candidate must have the ability to stand and sit for an extended period of time. <laughs> May require heavy lifting because, yeah, if you've seen the, the beam forming prototype, it's like... This big. It's, like, enormous. <laughs> not to be confused with their little uh, dog and pony show desktop one, which is, like, this thin and, like this which doesn't steer at all um <laughs> work may involve exposure to chemicals in processing solvents and epoxies currently based in santa monica okay wonderful like come on principal system architect after all this time that is ridiculous and what else have they got they've also got the uh hardware software design engineer that was from a couple of uh yeah that was from the other month wonder if they've filled that one there. It's still on the website and still up on the, uh, uh, the there's a web, so there's a workable.com website. I don't know what workable is. Anyway, they're still up there and highly motivated lead design engineer with extensive. So who was the principal system architect supposed to work with? If, if they haven't, maybe if they haven't filled this one yet. Highly motivated lead design engineer, extensive experience in the film of hardware, software, product design to add to our R&D division and what's left of it. The candidate will have strong command of multidiscipline engineering fundamentals to include electrical, mechanical, software systems, specialists in electrical, electronic design, blah, blah, RF sensor, uh, recent experience, developed high performance, impedance matched RF sensor circuits is highly desirable. Not asking much there. Uh, experience shall include expert level use of schematic capture, VHDL, circuit simulation. Like, they're still simulating stuff and looking for VHDL, like uh, doing schematic capture, like really? Five years, 30 million bucks, close to production. Knowledge of high voltage analog RF, FPGA embedded design, PCB and ASIC design, bench level debug and analytical skills of passion for problem solving, root cause analysis. I can't, nowhere near production. The candidate must have superior communication skills. Uh, be a fast-paced, technically capable and high-performing team that is developing groundbreaking technology is a high-impact position that will help drive the direction of UBeam's hardware software group. <laughs> Volume product development ability and successful product launch track record. Well, five years and 30 million bucks, they haven't, uh, they certainly need someone to deliver, don't they? Uh, develop high performance. They, here it is. That lead hardware software lead will develop high performance and impedance match circuits for electric mechanical sensors, develop hardware and software test benches. They're still doing test benches and guide overall lead of circuit design and software development work that can, okay, software development, fine. But like, they're still doing impedance match circuit design and like, ah. Oh develop other engineers in various areas so we help to develop the other engineers because well they're not good enough after five years um, in various areas of design and physics potentially including but not limited to impedance matching and phased array circuit design so you got to teach all the other employees about uh, RF and impedance matched phase array 
circuit design because, well, you know, <laughs> they've obviously got no one there who, need, who knows anything about it. Mix analog and mixed signal, ASIC development, PC, geez, they're not asking for much vision and beamforming hardware and software development. ME fixture and product design, set up test benches, conceive and create new circuits for electromechanical transducers. That whole company is based around the transducer. Like, okay, maybe you have to keep refining them, but like conceive and create new circuits. They don't have the transceivers down pat yet. Unbelievable. Coordinate close feedback between experiment and simulation. They're still doing experiments and simulation because they're nowhere near production. <laughs> Coordinate with hardware software director, stay ahead of competitive postgraduate electrical physics, at least 10 years in industry experience in design a high performance electromechanical impedance match RF circuits. Jeez, I bet people are beating down your door. There's just like 10,000 people just readily available with uh, that kind of experience. MEMS, experience in MEMS, uh, sensing circuit design, energy harvesting, acoustic transducer design. Because <laughs> that's all they're doing is just harvesting a bit of energy. That's like all they're going to get out of this. It's not real charging. Like it's not real, you know, watts based charging. It's, you know, it's milliwatts. <laughs> Must be well versed. And that's if the thing's not sitting in your bloody pocket or face down on your bench. Unbelievable. <laughs> experience at least oh, blah 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 you got a desired knowledge phd blah 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 all that sort of stuff must have the ability once again in the current position is based in santa monica california you being reserves the right to move the position anytime to another location ah because i've heard their big facility that they've got is just like empty and they've got an acoustic lead scientist so they've had this one since may because they don't have an acoustic lead scientist. Maybe it's been filled and they just haven't taken down. Anyway, a highly motivated scientist and engineer with significant experience in the field of acoustics, have significant blah blah blah, transducers, fabrication of transducers, non-linear propagation, no crap it's non-linear, uh, theoretical and practical acoustics, design of experiments to verify performance and simulation because after five years and 30 million dollars you haven't done that yet, <laughs> or at least it hasn't worked and you're trying to find somebody who can make it work. Unbelievable. <laughs> Once again, fast pacing. The acoustics lead will direct acoustics experiments, design acoustic transi transducers, and the overall lead of acoustic research that occurs at, occurs at UBeam. Oh. Once again, after five years, 30 million bucks, you're only now looking for someone to lead acoustics experiments and design acoustic transducers. Wow. Wow. I. <laughs> Because it clearly hasn't worked for them. Like, they've actually got real hardware. They've done some really cool stuff with the ASICs and things like that that they've developed. And they've probably got the beamforming tech even. And the, but the line following thing with the white border image track, image based tracking and all that, that's, you know, that, that's a little bit amateur hour. Um, but they've, you know, I'm sure they've done some great uh, stuff in beamforming and things like that and ASIC design. But um yeah it just it just hasn't worked for them and it sounds like that they're obviously like just trying to start again they're trying to find someone who can actually make this boondoggle practical and they 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 just won't it's basic engineering this basic engineering design which guarantees absolutely demonstrably guarantees that this will not be practical um, as I've gone through in my, uh, touched on in my previous video, design acoustic experiments to measure the efficiency, output pressure, and transducer performance. They're still measuring efficiency and output pressure after five years. They're looking for someone to do this. Wow. Like, I, like design new transducer design a variety of actuation technologies. Understand the trade-offs using one technology versus another because the previous people haven't written haven't researched all this, and they had the best PhD people in the world working for them, acoustics researchers, and they, like, this is, everything here reads like they're just a startup, like, six, first six months of the startup, they've just gotten their money, and they're ready to, you know, uh, start developing this thing, spending money, after five years, wow, and just, ah. Oh. Wow, FE modeling programs, all the, look at all the uh, stuff that they want, which is fair enough, maybe. But 
Anyway, I've yapped on long enough. This is just, it's hilarious. After five years, 30 million bucks, they're still looking for people like this. It's just, I, oh, I think I'm going to have to, I, I just need more inspiration. I think I'll go watch Meredith Perry's uh, TED Talk again, which I'll link down below. I just, just need some motivation like that, just to think outside the box, because I'm obviously a linear thinking uh, you know, engineer who is just incapable of, uh, you know, uh, outthinking the th the great thinkers. So yeah, I'll I'll watch that again. I I think you should watch it too. LinkedIn at the end of this video. Catch you next time.